Namaskar. A very warm welcome to all of you to C Sharp, a session on music, how it can heal, and how music is a great medium to help us feel good, especially during these trying times. I'm very happy and honored to be part of the Arthos Innovation Week. And thank you to the curatorial team for wanting to have a session on how music or the arts can impact the mind and the body. I'm Sunita Bhuyan and I'm currently the mentor of the Arthur Center Grass Foundation. And uh, we reach out to hundreds of thousands of children across cities in the less privileged communities and try to give them a holistic understanding of education, knowledge, as well as their all-round development through enrichment, the arts, sports, music. So today we shall take you through a short session on how music, apart from being a great entertaining platform, has to profound benefits on the mind and body. I'm recording this from a home in Mumbai in India and we're completely under lockdown and I don't have my regular musician or my team of musicians with me because we're all inside our homes. However, I do have Ranajit who is a pianist, he's my son. And the reason that I smile when I say that we're going to play together is that Ranajit is trained in Western classical and I'm trained since the last 40 years in Indian classical violin. Of course, the violin I have in my hands is a very old antique German violin. And, uh, but we had to create music together. They say for artists, there's not a reason why there's but to do or die. And we have to keep our craft and our passion going. So we decided that we were going to create music together. And do you know why we were able to do that? Not because we were great musicians, but because music and the universal seven notes, the science and art of music is universal. of the octave R. calms down 
And that's when in about seven to eight minutes, the body starts producing the feel good hormones. Called endorphins. And this is the context of music therapy. These feel good hormones regenerate our tired cells. Make our cells which have degenerated maybe due to illness, stress, disease. They replace them and they start building on them. And research in the brain research centers across India, especially in the uh, National Brain Research Center in India, says that sound therapy can be used for cognitive preservation. Even our brain cells stay healthier when we listen to music. Any creative engagement that we do could be writing, painting, playing an instrument, singing a song, creating something, cooking, gardening, spending time with those whom we love, doing things that we like, can produce those hormones in the body and organs. And if we have a good amount of feel-good hormones in our body, we feel happy and also helps us de-stress, deal with stress because it calms down our mind. So the feeling of happiness that we feel is scientific because our brain responds to the stimulus that makes us happy. And that's what impacts our well-being. So in these trying times, we can use music during different times of the day, different kinds of music, and we'll come to that a little later. First, let me show you how music is created. Thank you. 
story mi fa sola ti do a dear female dear and i use the same notes i try to play in a slightly indian style because in indian music we do not write everything down we just have the main frame and then we operate in the platform i am using jargons of the it world because i'm talking to an it audience so we have the main frame and then we move around in the around the platform in seven notes but keeping the structure of that particular melody in place so when you hear when you listen to an indian musician performance day especially a classical one you'll not see anything written down because we recreate and innovate and compose a lot of the movements on stage with our co-artists and rhythm plays a very important role uh, we don't have uh, any, any rhythm player to show typically i would have a percussion player to um, come together and show the interplay between melody and rhythm which creates the actual harmony and then in, then that which creates the symphony so this was a an english uh, a song from the english movie sound of music let's uh, take an indian piece and see how that piece is recreated i'm taking a traditional indian rag sa re ga pa ma ga re ga ma ma ga ma re sa would probably create something like this sa re ga pa ma ga re ga pa ma ga sa pa ma ni pa ma sa pa ma re ga together to be inclusive in their approach to work with differences and most importantly sharing a common goal so music again teaches us this lesson that there is no class or mass of the seven notes much like covid-19 doesn't see a class or mass when it needs to hit someone so music also the seven notes doesn't differentiate a romantic song a song in the choir a classic like doremi fa or even a song in the cafe in the club will have the seven notes
Being a Western uh, classical pianist, I must do one piece which is from a Western classical uh, great master. So, Mozart is my favorite. Mozart. However, I'm going to play Mozart in a, with an Indian accent. Like when we Indians speak English, we don't speak, uh, uh, you know, we have an Indian accent. When people in Europe speak English, they have a different accent. People in the US speak English, they have a different accent. But the communication is the same. The words that they use make all the difference in their message. Same way. Music, seven notes, styles are different, genres are different. So I'm going to um, join Mozart, fuse Mozart, and an Indian classical Thank you. 